so clean as you're the dirtiest company that we've ever seen. You make subsidies that keep you alive while sun and wind and water have to struggle and strive. So hit the road tracks and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road tracks and don't you come back no more. Drax is the single biggest example of biofuels in this country and in some respects in the entire world. Drax is converting the maximum that it can of its chimneys into burning biofuels, many of which are going to come frankly from forests. This is not acceptable. If you want to have a viable future for ourselves and our children, we've got to act Drax. Drax is eating huge swathes of forest. Forest from North America, from the southern US. 12 million tonnes last year. That's one and a half times the amount of wood that the UK produces for use across all industries. We think that's an abomination. They're taking huge amounts of forests and they're converting it into pellets and they're bringing it here to Britain and they're burning it. This is not sustainable, this is not green. This is a kind of a land grab. Huge areas of land are taken, the old forests are stripped away, new monocultures are created, people who maybe had access to those forests before are no longer able to go into them. This really isn't any decent way to conduct business. The loss of biodiversity, the loss of animals, the loss of forest, the loss of clean air, the impact on livelihoods, and biggest of all, the damage to our climate. Wood's not an energy dense fuel. Wood doesn't create large amounts of energy for the amount that goes in. And to be shipping that over from the US is in fact criminal. Biofuels can only work on a small scale. If you've got a, a farmer who's, who's growing a few trees uh, and burning them in their half, you know, that's absolutely fine. If you're burning off cuts from, uh, from uh, the work of tree surgeons, that's absolutely fine. This is nothing like that. We need to have wild, restored ecosystems, natural ecosystems. We need to be creating a much smaller footprint on the world as a species. And that really means that the humongous amount of wood that's going to be burnt at tracks, there's no way that it can be accepted. We can power the UK renewably. When we look at the data that the British government has provided on renewable energy with wind, with wave, with sun, there is an alternative to Drax. There is an alternative to filthy energy, to dirty, destructive energy. This ancient dinosaur, its day has come. There's a number of things that are really being demanded here. One is that, directed towards Drax, that Drax doesn't go ahead with the expansion of the biofuel operation that it wants to bring in. Another one more broadly is towards the British government and the EU to say we need to reclassify large-scale biofuels so that they're no longer considered as a renewable energy and no longer given the huge breaks that they are given by the EU in particular. Drax is one of the biggest consumers of UK mined coal, but also um, they burn coal from Russia, the US and Colombia in descending order of the quantities that they're burning. In these countries there's gross human rights abuses. In Colombia and Russia, indigenous people are moved from their land um, and not offered reasonable resettlement places and often resettled into urban areas rather than rural areas. In Colombia, there are um, assassinations linked to the mining companies. And in Russia, indigenous people have been burnt out of their homes in order to make them move so that open gas coal mines can expand. <laughs> A lot of the people that we work with are ex-deep miners. They've already suffered because of the mining, they've got health problems because of the mining, but it also brought prosperity to the communities and a sense of community. Open cast coal mining doesn't offer that. Open cast coal mining offers a few jobs for a small number of people, often from out of the area. Those communities want to stop new coal, and there's real unity that they do not want open cast. It doesn't bring prosperity, it just turns the fields flat. Axe, take your power back. Fossey Fran's the biggest mine in the UK. Miller Argent, who run it, wants to mine at Nant Lesk over the other side of the road. On the other side of the proposed mine site is the town of Rimney. In Rimney, there's an industrial estate where there's businesses that rely on having clean air, cosmetic companies and pharmaceutical companies. If the mine was to go ahead, it might employ 150 people. 
the mine would go ahead, 200 people might lose their jobs. Those are local people who already have jobs. It's likely that Millerage want to move their workforce from Frosty Fran to Nantlesk, so it's not new jobs. We need a just transition. We can't just pull out industries from those communities. We need new jobs. But those jobs could be in insulating houses so they require less energy. Those jobs can be in renewables. There's about 5,000 people have coal through power stations and mines to thank for their employment in the UK. And in June of last year, 34,000 people had wind, sun and wave energy to thank for their jobs before the government cut the renewable industry, not just through cutting the subsidies, but mainly through making planning permission much more difficult to get. If the UK government insist on giving Drax 1.3 million pounds a day subsidies that are greater than the gross profit of Drax, then there must be something enormously wrong with our system. Biofuel Watch do believe that it is time to axe Drax. This morning, before their AGM, Drax threw down the gauntlet to deck to say that they would close their coal capacity and replace it as they have been doing to date with 100% biomass capacity. They would burn nothing but trees. 98% imported from the United States and Canada. For that, they would need double the amount of subsidy to make climate change worse. I'm just about to throw down a gauntlet to deck to say, don't. Deck, do not overdose on Drax. Just say no to this idiocy. We're now about to deliver a petition to DEC uh, on behalf of 82,000 people who are saying end subsidies to Drax power station for burning wood in the name of green renewable energy. This is making climate change worse and damaging forests and polluting communities. Thank you, Thank you very much for receiving our petition. Please, can you make it, uh, get it to the Secretary of State and the other ministers for energy and any relevant officials? Thank you very much. We look forward to a reply. The Draxosaurus, the dinosaur that is Drax Power Station. Come on, Deck. You can do it. Yes. <laughs> a crying shame chopping down the forest for your sinister game you fix sustainability take the money leave and wreckage as your legacy so hit the road tracks and don't you come